2016 Grammy Awards, but right now, it's 1989. Put your hands up. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Producers Jack Antonoff, Nathan Chapman, Imogen Heap. There are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments or your fame. Thinking out loud! <laughs> but honestly, um, if, 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 if you would have told my... 11-year-old, 5-year-old, any age that I would have uh, received an award from Stevie Wonder, I, I would have been chuffed. So thank you very much. Take me by the hand while we do what love do. Uptown Funk. And I see George Clinton over there, a man who has done more for the word funk than we could ever hope to dream of in our entire life. To pimp a butterfly, Kendrick Lamar. This for hip hop, this for Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style, this for Illmatic, this for Nas. We will live forever, believe that, all right? We said give him some more, this one time, give for show, sure, but we go be a what? Megan Trainer. I love you so much. Thank you. Pick all I ask to Demi Lovato's, well, hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? From Taylor Swift's Are We Out of the Woods Yet Wonder? multicultural wonders of this opener from the Broadway musical Hamilton In New York, you can be a new man. by luck or design tonight's 58th annual Grammy Awards came at a moment when music sits proudly at the head of the pop culture table thanks to Beyonce's formation video and subsequent Super Bowl halftime performance steeped in Black Lives Matter imagery and substance and Kanye West's by every means possible rollout for his newest release, The Life of Pablo, featuring a Madison Square Garden fashion show, a Saturday Night Live performance, and a Yeezy-esque tweet storm. Tonight, the up to the second potential of popular song, much on the minds of those there. And when I wake up, I recognize you looking at me for the pay cut. So many of them fans of the rapper Kendrick Lamar. Whether he's taking trophy home or not, which I, I'm pretty sure he will. It's a win for him regardless. I love the fact that that's what he's doing. He's promoting positive values and encouraging unity, you know, bringing people together. That's it's not often that you get to hear an artist this authentic and this complete in his vision. And he's due. Yeah, he's definitely due. I hope he wins everything. Beloved from the streets to the Oval Office, jumping off from his All Right video with a galvanizing performance and winning five Grammys, including Best Rap Album. T-Swizzle cheering as her pop protege Ed Sheeran won Best Song for what looms as a generation-defining track, Thinking Out Loud. If, if you would have told my 11-year-old, 5-year-old, any age that I would have uh, received an award from Stevie Wonder, I, I would have been chuffed, so thank you very much. And then the pop unicorn herself, sporting a banged-out bob, picking up Album of the Year for 1989, serving up an empowerment speech that also featured shade thrown at 100 miles an hour in the direction of Kanye West, whose new record declares, I made that famous. Yet much of the Grammy evening held heroes of the past. The Eagles, reuniting just weeks after the passing of frontman Glenn Fry, playing Take It Easy with co-writer Jackson Brown in Fry's stead. Lady Gaga, who tattooed David Bowie's face on her torso earlier in the week, is shown on Snapchat with a tribute that had the carpet buzzing in anticipation. Why do you think she's the right person to honor a guy like Bowie? Well, you can just tell that she is such a big fan. <laughs> you know, I mean, like it's 
It's so present in all her work and you know, you tell she lives and breathes it. Did he give you a way of looking at the world that was different for you? His influence is in almost everything I've ever done. Technology allowing Gaga to manipulate the Bowie-esque colors and images upon her face. Bonnie Raitt, long a friend and colleague of the late B.B. King, losing it up with country multi-Grammy winner Chris Stapleton, hatless. Chris Stapleton took, asked for me specifically to be part of this, and knowing I was good friends with B, you know, it's really nice for me to be able to, you know, look up. I just have to turn, not turn around and see those photos because it'll make me too sad. An old school sound via this retrofied shoe bop and hit maker earned the Best New Artist Grammy for Megan Trainer. <laughs> Though this tribute to hard rock legend Lemmy from Motorhead offered an unexpected new front man in Johnny Depp. What's it going to be like for you to look at 15 rows of well-known musicians while you're singing up there? I won't be looking. My head will be straight down. And uh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't. I can't look. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd drop dead. The entire night, a showcase for superstars who have thrived amid the seismic changes in the music business in the age of digital and streaming. Adele is a is just a fascinating star. You know, you've got these deep and dark and sort of lonely songs, and she's so funny. And she's a very, very likable character. And a good thing, too. Late reports and tweets commenting on technical issues at the top of her performance. Longtime American Idol producer Nigel Lithgow tweeting, did Adele show she is human and just sing flat? Or is the television sharp? Rihanna took to Twitter to explain her last minute decision to cancel her Grammy performance, telling her fans, so sorry I couldn't be there, a statement saying she'd been put on vocal rest for an infection. You know what's not canceled? The daytime and nighttime drama between Taylor and Kanye, one long running show to which anyone can buy a ticket, one that figures to play itself out more in the days to come. Keeping up with Kanye West can be a full-time job, especially when he's in overdrive mode like he's been lately. I've heard the album. I think it's great. For Nightline, I'm Chris Connolly in Los Angeles. Uh, it's Kanye? I don't know. Um... I really don't, I really feel like rap lyrics sometimes can be a little weary about that, but um, the fact that he said that, I was just like, it's Kanye, and I feel like she's okay now, she's over it. It's, uh, it's an honor. There's a lot of ways I could try and put it, but it's definitely an honor because it's the Grammys. It's the biggest, most popular red carpet in music, I think. So, um, you know, to be here, to be able to perform tonight, uh, to be able to just be in the company of all these people, all these incredible musicians, is uh, it's, it's definitely a dream come true, you know? It's, uh, I, I guess I hope stuff like this might happen, but all you really got to do is get your head down and work, and then suddenly, before you know it, it's all, it's all come together. It's very cool. We've been hitting it off great. I mean, I've been a fan of James for so long, and so when I found out we were performing, it was like, oh, that's easy. Like, I already love him. And uh, so we're, we're both kind of, we're stripping it down, keeping it acoustic, and um, I think we both just feel like we're in our element, so it should be it should be really cool. I'm excited. Well, well actually, I'm performing with Ellie Goulding, and I would love to collab with her. We actually spoke about that. Uh, she has a beautiful voice. You know, Kendrick Lamar is another one. Tori Kelly, Adele, a lot of people. <laughs>
I remember pointing to L.A. Reid, and I remember crying and being like, don't snort on TV right now. Get it together. Remember your mom and dad and charm. And I, I forgot a lot of people, but I got, I got the big ones down. That's about it. No, I don't make records to win awards. I, I make records to make records and uh, hopefully make the records as, as good as they can be. And, and, but that's also what these awards hopefully represent. And I, and I think that's uh, the wonderful thing about the Grammys. So. I was just telling Heath a while ago, like, can you imagine years ago telling ourselves, you know, from the future, like, you're going to get uh, three Grammys for something you wrote. I, I don't think that's even what we were doing it for. This is like an extra surprise, you know? We like to write music because it's fun, and that's what we do, that's what we're good at. I thought it was great. I thought it was very moving to respect my father in that way and to pay homage to him, you know, at the Grammys too, so he would have been proud of that. So that was very, very touching for me, yeah. You know, this is, this will be my second Grammy. Uh, I have one Grammy for Jesus Walks, which I co-wrote with Kanye, but you know, you can never replace the feeling of just being honored by your peers, you know? When you get honored by your peers for your work, that it's, it's the ultimate form of, of flattery. And what we want to do, I'm from Chicago, so there's a lot happening in Chicago right now, and we want to bring it back to the young people and kind of share it and show young people that you too can be honored by your peers for hard work. You know, it's, it's two sides. I think that there are a lot of people that want to tear my brother down, you know, that, that want to see him fall. There, there's nothing that America loves more than a train wreck, you know. And so, you know, I would never be one to be used to tear Kanye down. However, you know, we want Kanye to be okay. We want, uh, we wish him success on this project, on, on his new album. And, you know, we just want to have glory. See who we can get next for some interviews. A person who wants me to be in their life for the purpose of trying to be a light. As a Christian, I think that it's very prideful if I if I pick and choose who I can be Jesus with. <laughs> you know. So you know, my job is to whether it's a person that's a crackhead or drug dealer or a convict. I mean, you know, or a politician or a billionaire. If if my job as a sinner saved by grace is to to try to show if God could clean up me, you know, man, there's hope for everybody. <laughs>